Hi, I'm Vance, and welcome to Repair and Replace. If your furnace won't start, it's likely that there might be a problem with the power. In this episode, I'll show you what to look for step by step. If your furnace isn't running at all, it's best to eliminate the simple sources first. Take a look at your thermostat, check the batteries, and replace if necessary. Now, make sure that the thermostat is set to heat and the fan is set to auto. If it doesn't run, then check the breaker box. If the furnace breaker is tripped and in the middle position, then flip the breaker all the way off and then flip it on to reset the breaker. Locate the furnace power switch on the side of the furnace and make sure that the switch is on. Many furnaces have a cutoff switch that prevents the furnace from running when the blower cover is open, so make sure that the cover is closed all the way. In high efficiency condenser furnaces, water is created as a byproduct. Some furnaces use a condensate pump to remove the excess water. A lot of pumps have an overflow safety switch, which is wired directly to the furnace. If the pump fails and the water level gets too high, then the safety switch will shut off the furnace to prevent flooding. Check to see if your condensate pump is working and that there are no blockages. If your furnace has power, then it's possible that the furnace is in a lockout. Modern furnaces have a set of safety switches that shut down the furnace when it detects an unsafe condition. This includes the pressure switch, flame sensor, flame rollout switch, and limit switch. If a switch is tripped, it will cause the furnace to lock out. It will cycle on and attempt ignition several times before going into a hard lockout for up to an hour. Every time a lockout happens, the furnace will use flashing lights as codes to identify the source of the shutdown. Now, these codes are unique to each model, so check your furnace manual to see what each code means. Now, these codes are the easiest way to get a sense of the problem, but in a lot of cases, it's best to contact a professional. If you like this and want to see more tutorials and informational videos, then subscribe to our channel. And if you need help, you can call or visit an Amory location to talk with our knowledgeable staff. Thanks for watching.